baby, healthy kid. Um, whenever he was six years old, he had a very large four to 500 pound um, RV gate. So the gate came off the track and fell back and fell back on him. Um, he obviously sustained a very severe traumatic brain injury during that. Whenever you talk to the doctors, they really give you no hope. They tell you after two years, you're pretty much not gonna see any improvements. And during the process, I just felt like stem cells was gonna be the only way that he was ever gonna get better. We had gone down to um, Tijuana two times now to do cord blood stem cells. Um, both times we felt like we saw a little bit of improvement, but no measurable. Um, the difference between that place and this place is night and day. There, you pretty much schedule your appointment, go down, they inject the cells via IV, and you never hear from them again. They never follow up, see how he's doing, nothing. Um, and like I said, it's a one day thing. The driver barely makes it to Teal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a shady deal. So I was very reluctant to come back. Um, to Mexico, especially in Cancun, but if you look at their website, it's very professional, so I figured the um, facilities and clinic were probably, but they still blew all the expectations I had out of the water. Well, here, you're here for a lot longer, five days. They evaluate him every day, they take a baseline, so there's real measurable results for of the improvements. Everyone treat, treated Luke like a person. Even in the States, when we go to the doctors, you never see that. They never talk to Luke. The drivers, they all lifted Luke for me. I never had to do anything. Luke started saying words probably, it's probably been about eight months to a year now, um, but primarily he only says yeah or no. Um, he will say other words, but it's very laborious, sound by sound by sound. Um, but last night my aunt was carrying on a conversation with him it said his response was so much quicker even this morning whenever he was watching TV he was laughing at their jokes quicker um, pointing to things just getting excited about what what was happening interacting with his world probably more than I've seen him in the past don't be afraid to come I know people trust me whenever I tell people I'm going to Mexico for medical therapy they look at me like I've lost my mind, but honestly, the things we've seen happen to him at hospitals in the States, I actually can oh. go, would go so far as to say that I feel safer here. My name is Dr. Kadish. I'm the president of World Stem Cells, and currently we're in the facility of World Stem Cell Clinic, which is located in Cancun, Mexico. We treat a variety of disorders, including autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, orthopedic, and ophthalmologic. The facility includes a host of uh, specialty physicians, all of whom are specific to the disease that we're treating. We also utilize physical therapists, respiratory therapists, and occupational therapists. So it's a very comprehensive approach towards treating disorders. Thanks for taking the opportunity and taking a look at one of our clients. This is just one example of many clients we see Remember, there are numerous diseases that can be treated with stem cells. And to see if indeed it may be appropriate for yourself, contact us. Go to our website at worldstemcells.com. We're easy to reach. There's lots of great information. And we encourage your questions. We want to be your partner in health. Remember, the treatment's all about quality of life. And if we can assist you, we're here to help. Puzzle pieces from the flame. True, it may seem like a stretch.